I've been keeping an eye on a young man by the name of Rob Bliss for about a week now, and outside of expecting to find him at the end of a rainbow in a pot of chickpeas, his appearance has deteriorated drastically over the past few months. Towards the end of June, he was your average skinny fat fairy boy. Now he looks like a skeleton you would fight in Dungeons and Dragons. Perfect example of what a vegan diet is, a fast for your body, as you are not providing it with the nutrients it needs, despite gorging on ridiculous amounts of fruit every day. I'm still new to this whole GoPro thing. Look at those guns, baby. There are so many logical flaws with a fruitarian diet. Uh, fruit is incredibly seasonal. You know, he had to relocate to Southeast Asia to even follow this diet. Even if you were in such climate year round, humans are not adept at gathering fruit compared to various jungle animals such as bats. If you've ever actually tried growing fruits or vegetables in a garden, you know something is going to get to it first, whether it's a squirrel or a bird, but vegans are completely out of touch with nature despite trying to act so spiritual and so in touch with nature. That's why we, as humans, hunt the animals that eat those plant foods. Otherwise, we would be in the jungle all day shitting on ourselves looking for fruit. I mean, that's what this guy's doing in Southeast Asia isn't he? Even if we were in said circumstance, our caloric need for our large brains cannot be met with fruit, especially if you actually allotted the energy needed to gather the fruit. Fruit Boy just goes to the market, buys giant bags of fruit, sits down, and stuffs his face. So these are the same mango, but one has like a white flesh and one has an orange flesh. Very interesting. Mmm. Oh, wow. Whoa. Tastes a bit like an apple mango. Like a pineapple. What is that? Pineapple, like, citrusy taste? Let's try the orange flesh. Whoa! Obviously emaciated, very gaunt, but you know what's disgusting? He's a health coach offering diet planning consultation. Who in their right mind would contact this guy? I'm assuming he's getting clients and man, would I love to hear that conversation. What is he gonna coach people on? Becoming infertile? And it is no fap November. So I wanna shout out everyone out there uh, for starting on this journey or continuing on this journey of abstinence, uh, no porn, no masturbation. Uh, it's a beautiful thing to utilize your life force energy and use it to manifest uh, things in your life differently, to increase your energy, to increase your productivity, uh, better athletic performance, better cognition, all these things, clarity of mind, better mood overall, um, all these things just come when you stop wasting your energy, just literally your life force energy that is coming out of you, uh, some people on a daily basis, and that's why they're so depressed, they're stuck in these, these lower, uh, these lower chakras, this root chakra, this base survival instinct, and they're never moving up into the higher realms of consciousness, uh, reaching access to the Akashic records and these, uh, getting these downloads and really being able to manifest your dreams. Uh, the law of attraction is so much more powerful when you practice semen retention and no fat. So it is actually day 1,351 for me. I'm getting close to four years. So depriving yourself of so much nutrition that you can't get your dick up is manifesting your future. 
Four years of no sexual activity in your early 20s is certainly the opposite of what nature intended. What exactly is he manifesting? He's in the middle of a Southeast Asian jungle, starving to death, eating fruit. What is he using all this extra energy for? Walking to the fruit market and lifting the mangoes to his mouth? Smelling his disgusting body odor? Growing that leprechaun beard? I mean, I guess he does have orgasms when he eats the fruit. I guess that enthusiasm requires quite a bit of energy fueled by the glucose and the fructose that's going straight to his liver. Uh, this young man also had quite a bit of nonsense to spew about the carnivore diet. I wanted to talk to you guys about this uh, carnivore diet. Carnivore. Now obviously, uh, it's scientifically proven that we are frugivores by nature. Uh, this is how our digestive system works. This is how our teeth are designed. This is how our jaw is designed. Our eyes, we can see color. Meat eaters cannot see color. We can see color so that we can see the fruits uh, in a field of green, we can pick them out. Uh, we have an amazing sense of smell, which meat eaters do not have. We don't have claws. We don't have teeth to shred raw skin and raw meat. Uh, yeah, we don't have claws to catch our prey. All these things are very simple, very uh, basic observations you can make in nature. Every animal in nature eats their food in a raw, natural state. Now we look at the foods, all the foods that humans eat, what is the most natural and nutrient dense and satisfying? I've done a whole video on herbivore versus carnivore anatomy and digestion. Mouth and facial structure isn't necessarily indicative of the animal's diet. You have to look at the actual internal organs, which he is wrong on. Our intestines are designed to extract nutrition predominantly from animal foods with plant foods as a secondary. Saying that our ability to see color, to find fruit, doesn't make a shred of sense because seeing color is an incredibly useful tool at procuring any sort of caloric nutrition in nature, especially hunting. If you had black and white vision, it would be far easier to see stationary fruit in a tree than to distinguish a deer in chest high grass. We also should consider that frugivores consume a large amount of insects and will consume animals if given the opportunity. That doesn't include the insects that actually occur in fruit as well as other vegetation, especially bug butter, which vegans never seem to mention, aka almond butter, aka peanut butter. I guess they were too busy spraying those bugs with insecticides to grow their GMO soy burgers. No idea why he would say we have an amazing sense of smell compared to other carnivores because a bear or a dog can smell their meal from miles and miles away. It's safe to say our sense of smell has diminished due to lack of nutrition during developmental stages. I can barely smell anything. I used to work as a bartender. I never smelled any floral or fruity notes on wine. I firmly believe humans are supposed to have a sense of smell similar to dogs, and some of you may have met people with this heightened sense of smell, sometimes referred to as like super smellers, but everyone is supposed to have this. One other thing vegans always like to dismiss is tool usage. Despite blending all of their meals in a Vitamix, despite using a knife to cut open all of the fruits he's eating, by being able to hunt animals without claws, without massive amounts of muscle that something like a bear has, our brain requires less neurons for said body size. In addition, since we don't require large herbivore digestive systems, which also require brain power, our unique ability to maintain a small body size and eat animal foods is why I'm standing in this house and not a wild animal. When vegans use the word nutrient dense, it really irritates me. I guess the same can be said about carnivores calling grain fed beef nutrient dense. Yeah compared to what? A bowl of rice? And you look at fruits, which are the reproductive organs of a fruit tree, of the plant. The plant wants to reproduce, and it can't do so without certain animals, like birds, humans, 
orangutans who disperse seeds. So when you eat fruits, uh, you're actually getting hormone-rich sexual organs. They're filled with hormones. And that's why you get like this dopamine rush. And this is how the fruit tree tells us to disperse the seed, to keep the line going, you know, like keep its ancestry alive. No, buddy. I think that's called a sugar rush. Hormones that do occur in plant foods are phytoestrogens, which are actually made by the plant to hopefully make whatever eats said plant infertile, unable to reproduce. And I guess it's worked in your case. So that group of animals ideally goes extinct and stops eating the plant. These phytoestrogens aren't going to make you feel good. Tying back to the need for animal foods in our diet, whether you're on a grain-fed beef carnivore diet, a raw fruit boy mango fest, or a standard American seed oil diet, you're not obtaining the nutrition your body needs from quality animal foods, grass-fed beef, pasture-raised pork, free-range chicken, raw dairy, wild fin fish, and shellfish. I always mention how much I want to improve people's health. The first basic step is eating more of these quality animal foods. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, you can definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price online out of any meat store guaranteed. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.